Hi guys, welcome back again to my channel. So for this video, I will be showing you our experience in overhauling of main engine cylinder cover. To begin with, I will just explain to you why we need to replace or overhaul our cylinder cover. We are replacing our cylinder cover because we observe a leakage of water in jacket cooling. This is the jacket cooling and this is where the water is leaking. Inside had two gasket which seals the cooling water. If we will not replace this one, our HT cooling water level and expansion tank is always decreasing and needs to be filled up every day around 50 to 100 liters and if you will fill up fresh water, our cooling water analysis like nitrite, pH and chloride might be affected then we need to add chemical like corrosion inhibitor to maintain our cooling water system in range values now to stop the leakage and decreasing of cooling water we need to take up the cylinder cover and replace with our ready spare on board but before that to identify this job priority we thoroughly investigate if the water leakage is also going inside the main engine. So during our port stay, we open up under piston space and check if there is a sign of water inside. Then we found out no sign of water. Our vessel is on hectic schedule and we stay in some ports only in less than 24 hours because we are container feeder vessel. Our only chance of overhauling is in Rauma, Finland where we can stay more than one day. Yes, this is not a 24 hours job, but at least we are in safe margin and avoid delays. We will know there is some unexpected problem that will come during overhauling. I hope no. So, planning and preparation before overhauling is very important to us to avoid delay, since this is the main propulsion on the ship and the ship will not run unless we finish our repairs. Before to commence the overhauling, main starting valve should be in block position. Turning gear is engaged. Close the fuel oil inlet valve. Close the cooling water inlet and outlet valve. Open the cooling water drain cup. Shut off the control air and safety air supply. Shut off the air supply on the reduction unit for the hydraulic pneumatic exhaust valve and vent the system. 